Owners of the Burnsville Mall are setting the stage for some major developments in the coming years. And they're hoping a plan to divide up the massive property will get the green light after, later this week from the City Council. Rob Olson is live outside that mall tonight for us. Rob, what sort of new buildings or businesses could be coming to that area? Well, nothing is set in stone, but the vision here is that it would be a mix of offices and residences and more restaurants and retail. In order to help the uh, ailing mall here, they decided, well, maybe the vision here is to fill in all these parking lots around it. This goes to a key vote on Tuesday night to help this vision going forward. I would say since at least 2015, 2016, it's been on the radar that the mall's been um, seeing a lot more vacancies within the building itself. It is certainly not unique to Burnsville to see an indoor mall in decline as e-commerce and changing lifestyles threaten their extinction. And uh, that's where our city council said something needs to be done. Regina Dean is Burnsville's assistant community development director and says their concept, which is huge in scope, took shape in 2018. They call it the Center Village Vision, imagining a renovated mall whose seas of parking lots largely disappear, replaced with a mixed use community. More housing, entertainment, office, park, um, really active spaces um, to create a community um, that doesn't exist right now. Currently, the entire property is several owners, but much of it belongs to an investment group in New York who bought the mall out of bankruptcy last year. They have asked the city for permission to divide it up, selling off big chunks of the property to other developers. So Tuesday night, that goes to a city council vote to replat the property so those sales can be done. We're really doing all that we can from a city standpoint to eliminate any barriers to help foster redevelopment in the area. Redeveloping the entire mall property to help save the endangered mall at its center. We're seeing what's happening around Rosedale, Ridgedale and Southdale and we want that too. Um, we want to see some um, really invigoration of the, the mall area. Yeah, and you know, this is about Burnsville Center, but it's really about malls all across the country trying to figure out what to do to revive uh, what's turned into kind of a, a aging concept here. Uh, if this is approved, they envision the first part of the redevelopment would occur on this east end where the Sears building sits vacant and move from there and 10 plus years of development. But again, it all depends on being able to sell these pieces of property, attract other developers in and figure out what to do. All this vision is conceptual. It's not set in stone. Uh, but again, a key hurdle moving forward is the city council vote tomorrow night. Live in Burnsville, Rob Olson, Fox 9.